Kilo, Tesla coil is a type of resonant transformer circuit invented by Nikola Tesla around 1891. This is a high frequency air core transformer that produced high voltage low current and high frequency alternating current electricity. In general Tesla coils can be divided into two groups, spark gap like this and solid state Tesla coils. In some, in some of my previous videos you can see some solid state Tesla coils made with the transistors and vacuum tubes. Uh, this time I'll describe to you how to make a spark gap Tesla coil which is actually the simplest type of Tesla coil. I recently received an neon sign high voltage transformer as a gift, which is which was the main reason for starting this project. A spark gap Tesla coil consists of the following parts. Primary coil consisting of several turns of thick copper uh, tube. Secondary coil consisting about a thousand turns of thin lacquered copper wire. High voltage source, in this case a neon sign transformer. Spark gap, high voltage capacitor bank, and toroidal, toroidal top load terminal. Uh, let me briefly describe the function of each of these parts. The power source is is this neon sign transformer with an about voltage of about 7,000 volts and current of 50 milliamps. The total power of the device depends of this transformer. The value of the output voltage actually the length of the spark. Uh, the primary coil is the first coil in the transformer, typically consisting of a few turns of heavy wire and it is connected to a power source. Capacitor bank is connected in parallel with the primary uh, is connected the primary uh, with the primary coil and is stored electrical energy during the charging phase. The spark gap is a, is a switch that rapidly discharges the capacitor into the primary coil and it consists of electrodes separated by a, by a small air gap. When the voltage across the spark gap reaches a critical value, a spark jumps across the gap, allowing the capacitor to discharge rapidly. The secondary coil is a large number of turns of fine wire wound around the primary coil. Uh, it is not electrically connected to the primary coil, but is in close proximity. Uh, the charging magnetic field induced in the primary coil is the sec uh, in the secondary coil causes a high voltage to be generated. And the top load, which is located at the top of the secondary coil, where is usually a toroid of, of a, or a metal sphere, and this helps to concentrate the electric field and then change the uh, and and change the efficiency of the coil. In ideally tuned Tesla coil, the resonant frequency of the primary LC circuit should be equal to the resonant frequency of the secondary. It is very difficult uh, and almost impossible to achieve this by si simply changing the number of windings or the value of the capacitor bank and most beginners in this field as, as most beginners in this field think. This can be achieved relatively easily using several online calculators of which I think the most used is Java TC. Also a great source of information and online calculators is the Deepfried Neon site. For the sake of the of easy of manufacturing and visibility, I make the Tesla coil on a flat board, but is but I soon realized that I could have problem with a spark uh, jump on the high voltage transformer, which would be fatal for it. So for protection, I installed a metal mesh around the power transformer, which is connected to the ground. Therefore, most often, uh, of often the driver part is placed under the primary and secondary coil. Now let's see how this device works in real conditions. I should mention that for grounding I use a long metal rod stick in wet soil. 
As can be seen in the video, with a fully tuned Tesla coil, I achieved a spark length of about 40 plus centimeters, which is a good result for such a relatively small powered neon side neon sign transformer. And finally, a short conclusion. This was my first spark up Tesla coil, and it gave me a lot of pleasure both in making and in the operation. However, it should be kept in mind that the manufacture and maintenance of such a device is relatively expensive, especially if we have to buy all the components. Fortunately, the most expensive parts, the power transformer and capacitor bank, uh, I already had and there was no need to buy them. Also, with the night view uh, of a functional Tesla coil always attracts enormous attention with its audio and visual effects. And a safety note, please do not attempt to recreate uh, the experiments shown on, shown on this video unless you are familiar with high voltage safety techniques. Direct current, even above 60 volts, may be lethal even when the AC supply voltage has been disconnected for the stored energy due to the stored energy in capacitors. I have no responsibility on any hazards caused by the circuit. Be very careful. This is a humble request.